What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is that time yet again. We have some packages from some amazing people. We have one right here from my good buddy Sean, who is the Corvette collector, so I can't wait to see what's in this one. We have one from Dejakinator, who has sent some amazing customs. I believe that's what's in here. And then right here we have one from David Gibson, and right here from Shane, which I am excited for. Um, Shane, you should be getting your package soon. Sean, I'm sending out your yours because we had done a trade for what is in here the jakeinator i will send you something as well and then of course david gibson here we go guys this is the setup i have so for those that sent to my temporary address there was a lot of mail issues so um, as you can see right here they were going to return to sender because they didn't recognize mustang hunter diecast here because it is a military installation and it has to have my name so for those that put my name on there i definitely appreciate you those that put mustang hunter that is a-okay i didn't know that was their um, way of doing things because it's been a long time since i've actually had to use an address for a hotel for military stay so it's been a little crazy the mail has been super slow so all of these boxes got to me super late because of the confusion of mustang hunter and my actual name and all that good stuff. So it is what it is, guys. I cannot wait to open up these boxes to show you what we got. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the one from my buddy, Sean. Uh, this is the trade of the Super Chase Matchbox Corvette. Since I got two of them, my man does collect Corvettes, so we did a trade for what is in here. So let's go ahead and get this one opened first off. See what we got and what we traded super chase for i already know what it is i'm sure you are all wondering what did i trade it for so let's go ahead and get these going oh we got some loose castings right here what is a number one? Oh yeah look at this 65 2 plus 2 you guys know this is my favorite casting of the mustang that hot wheels makes it is in the beautiful silver metallic with the number 11 meatball the black OH5s all the way around with the chrome trim. Love it. This is my first one loose, so that is awesome. All my loose castings are right here. I do have my Lamborghinis and Ferraris finally in these cases, which I've only gotten one so far. I do want to buy a whole bunch, uh, especially for the Mustangs like this, so that is awesome. Uh, let's see, next up we have, ooh, nice. Now I don't have this color variation. This is an MBX or Matchbox GT500. I love this metallic orange. It just looks really good. It's really close to the competition orange with a lot of metallic flake. You can see it has a nice pearl look to it. You have the black interior, of course, the split spoke wheels that Matchbox has. And then no tail light details, but coming around the front, you have some really nice headlight, turn signals, and lower fog lights. That is nice. I do have a nice teal version of this convertible as well as some silver metallics and some Hawaiian ones. Um, but this is a really nice color. I absolutely like that a lot. Next up we have, oh, there we go guys. Look at this. Oh, this tuned Ferrari is nice. So this is the Ferrari 360 Modena. You do have the PR5s with the exaggerated large ones in the back and smaller ones up front. Um, but it is a plastic body. It's a satin black with the red race stripes. As you see, you do have the chrome interior and red tinted glass with the Ferrari badging right there on the sides. But this is really cool. Check that out. This is gonna have to fit in one of these cases, but here we go, loose Ferrari. All right, next up we have Ooh, there we go, check that out. 69 Camaro with the Hotchkiss deco. Nice silver stripes, but look at this purple metallic. That is just another color that Hot Wheels does right. And they put it on the right castings, look at that. You got the nice chrome OH5s all the way around. Larger in the back, smaller up front. Nice light gray interior. That is nice. No, Pete over at Old Man Diecast is probably eyeballing the hotch kiss. All right, let's see, next one up. Ooh, nice. This is another Matchbox Shelby, it is. That is a nice red enamel with the silver stripes. It looks like they do have a little bit of metallic flake. But I really do like how they separated the roll cage 
right behind the driver's seat um, so it's not casted with the car itself but this is really nice look at that oh yeah this is going on my work display with the other Shelby I have next up I'm trying not to let you guys see what I traded the super chase for Ooh, here we go we have the California Special, the 68 GTCS Mustang in the silver metallic. You do have the chrome interior, of course you do have the vintage style black wheels with the chrome trim. Very nice. I think I have this one in green, which was sent to me and it's loose. So now I have the silver one to go with it, nice. All right guys, so what I traded the Super Chase for is right here it says to jason the mustang hunter from sean the corvette hunter you guys ready there we go guys the 2019 audi r8 spider now you guys remember i did find this out in the wild and i did trade it to my good buddy ivan over at 55 gasser for the skyline r32 and the mazda rx7 super so this is out of the hot wheels exotics for 2021 absolutely stoked to get this back in the collection there we go guys nice spectra flame blue i love those five spokes just looks really really nice on this casting so nice that is what we traded for the super chase all right next up man you put a lot of stuff in here guys oh look at that you got the humvee with the military desert division deco on there military patrol that is actually pretty sweet i've never seen this one i've seen the series but i've only seen the cockney cab um and i believe that's the only one i've ever seen on target's pegs um so this is actually really cool nice look at that uh oh i see the the banana car <laughs> All right, so you see we got the banana car right here and the Shelby. Finally got the Shelby in my collection, guys. Oh my God. 2021 Q case mainline. It's not the Super, of course, um, but the Shelby Cobra 427 SC in this beautiful ruby red metallic. You got the blacked out five slots with the chrome trim, the white meatball the white racing stripes god i've been looking for this and i could not find it look at that muscle mania series to finish out 2021 oh i hope to score the super one day but that looks so good look at that oh such a perfect color right there then of course you do have the big banana car which i do have loose so I do need to race these. Um, this one will be on the track eventually. Next up, what do we got? <laughs> there we go. We got the 2022 Carbonator to start out the new year right here. So there we go. I have seen this a few times, never picked it up, but I definitely do appreciate having a 2022 series car. All right, next up, Cracked Blister. Oh yeah, we got the GT350. You guys remember I did find this out in the wild. And since this does have a cracked blister, this one we are opening up. So sweet. We're gonna turn that little sad face upside down because I am actually, um, I actually could not find a second one. So this one will be opened. Let's go ahead and just set these down here. What do we got? Ooh, here we go. We got another Brembo 2019 Mustang S550. I do have a few of these, so this one will be open. I don't have any opened ones yet. So there we go, nice. All right, next up, oh, there we go. So we got the mainline Audi R8 Spider. Look at that. Even the mainline looks really good. But when you compare the two, the wheels just really set it off. Look at that. But both very, very nice looking castings right there. All right, next up, yeah, buddy. God, I've been trying to also get my hands on this and could not. Um, there was someone that was local that picked up like 12 of these at the Walmart I go to. We only have two Walmarts here. Um, but yeah, picked up all of them and wanted to sell me them for a pretty high price and I was not gonna do that. So awesome, man, the Lamborghini Countach police car out of the hot wheels rescue series look at that 
Nice white enamel. You got the orange, blue, and light blue emergency tampos with the flame and the gray arrow disc. Look at that silver flame right there to signify the regular treasure hunt. So another Q case beauty right here, which goes along with the beautiful 427. Next up, here we go, the Kroger exclusive. Nice, now I did pick up a couple of these and I also gave away a few Kroger sets. So I am think I was actually down to two, um, actually one. That's my only Kroger exclusive Mustang left. So here goes number two, nice. Glad to get this one back, but I do definitely miss having Kroger's or fries or anything of that nature around me. And right here, guys, we have the Lamborghini Gallardo police car. I do have two of these loose, but I don't have the power grab, and I like to have variations of it. Um, so there we go, nice. All right, so that finishes out the box from Sean. Sean, you are the man. Check this out, guys. Just from Sean alone, this is an awesome unboxing so far. You got the Lamborghini Countach treasure hunt out of Q case. You got the Shelby 427 mainline or basic out of Q case, which is one of my favorites to finish out the year. The trade, of course, was just for the Audi R8 Spider in exchange for the Super Chase Corvette from Matchbox. And then my man threw in all these extras, the big banana car, the Kroger exclusive S550, the regular R8, the Brembo S550, the Shelby GT350 out of the Forza series, the Carbonator, and then of course, these beautiful loose castings, which I don't have any of these loose. So that is awesome. That is a new Ferrari to add to my collection. So Sean, thanks so much for sending these extras. I was not expecting that, of course. Um, we do that in the community, we throw in extras, but I wasn't expecting the magnitude and especially getting the Shelby and Treasure Hunt added to this package. So huge, huge thanks. Next one up is from DJ Canator. Let's go ahead and open this up. Alright guys, so my really nice tactical knife is no longer sharp. It doesn't even want to cut anything. So steak knife it is. Let's see what the Jakeinator threw in the box. I know he said he was working on a custom. And his last customs that he sent were on point. We got a letter right here. It says, Jason, I hope you enjoy these customs. Should be I hope you enjoy these customs should be, is that 14 total? If you can ship me that Porsche, that would be awesome. Included the Shelby. Thanks for constantly uploading content, even though, even through the holidays. Hope the move goes well. Happy holidays to you and your fam, Jacob. General Lee water slides, nice. Look at that. If you guys remember, he did do that really clean 69 Boss 302 with the General Lee Deco and it looked amazing. So what else, he had something else written right here. Maybe go top to bottom, think you'll like the last car the best, haha. <laughs> nice. All right, so he's really wanting the Porsche um, GT3 RS out of the premium lineup, which I told him I was going to send him in return. Let's go ahead and see what my man threw in here. Oh yeah, this is the one I did not get out of the series, the 67 Pontiac GTO. Look at that, that is nice. Got the red enamel, the black striping right there, which is kind of coming into a little point. Got the GTO fender badges right there on the rear, the chrome MC5s with the staggered fitment black interior and then you do have the black stripes running on the hood so there we go you got the double stacked 67 goat god i love those that is nice oh man <laughs> there it is ah the target exclusive 2020 gt 500 man look at that now that is wicked Got the Muscle Machines white lettering on the wheels, but that red 
Oh man, that is nice. There you go, you got the only at Target signifying it is the exclusive. Now I know there's a Hobby Lobby exclusive and it comes all black. Um, that one I'm probably never gonna find. I don't really go to Hobby Lobby that often um, and the odds of them really carrying this is probably slim to none. Um, but there you go, you got the limited edition Muscle Machines sticker right there, but that is beautiful. Nice. Oh man, you are freaking awesome. I wasn't expecting that Shelby. I forgot about that one. I was thinking like the mainline Shelby uh, 427. So that is an awesome bonus right there. So here we go guys. We have some customs right here. First one up, I'm trying to be super careful. Look at that rat fink. That is crazy looking. What kind of, what casting is this? This is the Rally Baja Crawler. Look at that, you got the Rat Fink Deco, the pink long tube headers coming out the side. Oh, that is cool. And I kind of like how, I don't know if that was intended on purpose, but I like how the wheels kind of have the splattered paint on it. I like that, man. That is kind of cool looking, look at that. That is wicked. All right, next up, what do we got? Oh, there we go. Another Boss 302 with the General Lee. So another General Lee variation, but the blacked out look looks really good. Look at that. Nice. I should have it with the other one. So you have the General Lee traditional colors and now you have the blacked out Vaughn Gitt Jr. version. Next up, what do we got? And I wasn't expecting all of these. I knew you were working on a custom, but I was only expecting one. Look at that. You got the 64 Chevelle with this really cool splattered pink Barbie deco. Look at that. My daughter would really like this. That is nice. <laughs> that is. That is really cool. There's a lot of Barbie collectors out there, especially when the Barbie camper came out. They would probably go nuts over a custom like that. Look at that, that is actually really unique looking. I'm gonna save that aside for her. She'll probably like that for her little bitty collection she has. Next up, what do we got? Let's see, what is this? Ooh, there we go, look at this Subaru. Very similar styling to how you did your BMW, is it the GT2? It's kind of wild looking. It's wheels, you got the nice metallic bronze or nice metallic brown. It's a very unique way to do this deco. Look at that. All right, next up. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, now that is freaking sweet. Look at that. You got the 67 GT500. Yep, 67. Now that is clean looking. Oh man, this casting looks good in orange. Look at that. So now I'll have the 69 General Lee, the 67 GT500 General Lee, and the RTR Von Gittin Jr. blacked out version of the General Lee. That is nice. Very nice work right there. That is, I like that one, man. That just looks really good on that casting. Next up. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. You got the 2020 GT500. That's a crazy transition. You got the red into almost like a dark charcoal or maybe like a battleship gray. Look at that. You got Jags and all the other tampos. You got the treasure hunt, the super treasure hunt logo right there gray Y5s and on the other side it's completely opposite all gray look at that that's wild looking let's see what else all right next up uh oh got the cyber truck look at that nice another TH right there on the back and the fighter jet open mouth look on there but I like that white enamel that looks really good got the nice tail light detail this actually has some weight it's actually the first time I've actually held the Cybertruck in my hand that's actually really cool looking 
very simple, very clean, but I love that look. Nice. All right, next up, what do we got in the Ford GT case? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, now that is nice. Nice color choice for this Ford GT right here. It's the Ford GT40. Got the black PR5s with a gray. Looks like a gray ring. Very nice color choice. Very, very close to Ruby's color. Look at that. God, that looks good. Very sleek. That is a nice color choice. Very, very nice color choice right there. And look at that, it gets even darker for the further away it gets. So it looks light and on camera because I have the light on, but it's a very nice dark metallic maroon. That is very, very nice looking. All right, next up, what do we got? Ooh, look at that. Got the GTR in a metallic pink. Got the pink door handles. You got some OH5s up front and some aero discs out back. Oh, and look at that. Nice little pink touches right there. Some pink taillights, pink wing. This is definitely something my daughter would like in her little collection. So I think I'm going to give her the pink Barbie and the pink GTR to throw in her set. She'd actually really like that. Uh-oh. I see some Mustang. Oh, look at this. Oh, now that is freaking cool. Horsepower Speedway 2021 Hot Wheels. Oh man, I'm saving this one for last. What else do we got? Ooh, here we go. Got the SRT. Ooh, let's go ahead and open up this one. Oh man, check this out. Oh, you know Raul would like this. Look at that. You got the white SRT Hellcat Challenger. Got the gold Treasure Hunt Flame, the THs. That got the huge OH5s in the back and the five spokes up front. Nice, love that deco. Uh oh, we got two more left. Let's see what's in the Civic box. Is it a Civic or is it something else? Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. You got the Hellcat swapped Civic, the first in the world to have a Hellcat swap Civic right here. You got the black aero disc, I do like the red hubs. Nice little touch, racing stripes on there. Nice white enamel. Hopefully we do see this casting in white because it looks really, really good in white. Look at that. You got a little Hellcat and a Hellcat Civic. Little twinsies over there, check that out. All right guys, last, definitely not least. Uh-oh, what do we have? Look at this, guys. Horsepower Speedways GT500. Look at that. You got an official pace car for the Horsepower Speedway. Look at that, guys. That is freaking cool. You got the TH logo right there. Chrome 10 spokes all the way around. I love the 21 to signify the year. You got M2, Champion, Pennzoil, the YouTube logo. But look at that, Horsepower Speedway. Ah, MHDYT for that YouTube channel. <laughs> that is, that is cool, man. Look at that. That is sweet. You were right, man. The last one is a heavy hitter and I definitely gotta save this together like that. Check that out, guys. That is freaking sweet. So there we go, we got some awesome customs from Dejaconator, ranging from General Lee GT500 all the way to that wicked 64 Chevelle Barbie. And just the amount of time it took for you to do these customs is greatly appreciated. Um, I mean, no one else is going to have any of these cars in the collection. Of course, people can make these, but the fact that you took all the time to put all these customs together, wrap them up, send them over. That is awesome, man. We're gonna go ahead and move on to David's package. Let's see what we got and let's see if this knife can uh, at least open this one. All right, let's see, what do we got in here? Ooh, this is a 
heavy thing. The box is light, but that was heavy. Let's go ahead and move this here. Look at that. Anybody want a Corvette Grand Sport 67.9? All right, first up, we got some bone shakers. Ooh, customs. Look at that. Oh man, Big Daddy Diecast. Look at that signature. That is fancy right there, but look at that. Nice custom. You got the RA6 wheels in red, which are custom red, looks like. And then you got the blue metallic with the silver. That is a nice touch. Man, I don't even want to take it out of that because I think that's a really cool looking signature. That's impressive looking. <laughs> Man, that is nice. Then you have the next one right here. Check that out. Oh my God, that flake. That is a very nice color. It's almost like a dark, dark black with metallic flake of blue. I don't know, but that is a very unique color. Got the aero discs on there. Ooh, look at that headlight work. Love that satin black finish on it. Just looks very menacing. Nice, man. I don't even want to open those up. <laughs> that looks sweet just like that. Take some notes, that is genius. Some paper clips. That is genius. What do we got? All right, cool, we got some, we got some duplicates right here, but these are some shorties. Oh, you guys know I love short cards. Here we go, you got the 70 Camaro RS in the nice dark blue enamel with the 70 meatball and the black MC5s, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta love those shorties. Next up, we got a short card R35 Liberty Walk. God, that is just a nice casting. I should have got more of this color when I seen it instead of just the one. But now I got two. And of course, you guys already know I'm not going to be opening up that one because it's a short card. Next up, you got the Bone Shaker with the Moon Eyes Livery and Silver. Another short card variation. Next up, what does this say? For your new racetrack. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. You got the 2005 body style Mustang funny car and a custom white enamel. Look at that. Oh man, it's gonna be a good contender on the track. <laughs> oh, nice. I love that white with the blue stripes. You guys already know how I feel about that setup. It's very signature look to a Shelby or anything like that. So I think that looks really sweet. Oh my God, number two. You got another Lamborghini Countach police car treasure hunt. Nice. God, you guys are amazing. So that makes number two. Look at that. Yes. Oh, awesome. Ooh, and here we go. Next up, another shorty. Got the yellow version of the Silverado Off-Road. Love this color variation. It's probably my favorite one so far. Very nice short card. Jeez. Uh-oh. Here we go. You got the collector number 21. First edition Corvette SR2. Look how beautiful that is. Nice. Got the nice red enamels. Got the silver panels right there with the chrome five spokes all the way around. Got the number two meatball with the silver interior. Nice. All right, and last up, got the Dodge Viper. Now this is the GTSR first edition out of 2001. Collector number 23. Look at this. Now this is one Viper body style I do not have. I used to have the Matchbox version of this. Same body style, very big and bulky, very boxy. Um, and I don't know what I did with that. I think I gave it away in a trade um, as a loose casting, but there we go. Nice red enamel with the silver stripes, five spokes all the way around. Super cool casting. God, that is nice. Definitely love collector numbered uh, blue cards like that. So huge, huge thanks to you for sending the shorties, the wicked cool customs, and of course, another treasure hunt. 
God, look at that, guys. Go ahead and make some room because we are going to get to the package from Shane. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what Shane threw in here. All right, we got another letter. All right, Jason, the boys and I just wanted to send you a little something for Christmas. We look forward to your videos and are so glad that you and the family made it safely to South Dakota. As always, we want to thank you for your service and all that you do for this community. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year hunting. Your friends, Shane, Ty, and Cade. P.S. We know how you like short cards, so we hope you like what we sent you. Also, I sent you a picture of something we sent you. You'll have to see which one, Shane. So awesome, guys. Shane, Ty, and Cade, I appreciate you so much. Your support has been greatly appreciated. Um, if you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, it is Super JDM Diecast. Um, they put up their first unboxing video of Q case short cards, so I cannot wait. But here we go, guys. Look at this. My man hooked it up with some protective cases. Nice. Now, I know we talked about it, and I definitely needed some for some supers that I have or some variations that I wanted to protect, and I absolutely ran out of some. So these four will definitely go, definitely be put into use. Um, so thank you so much for sending that. All right, let's see. Oh, oh my man. Oh, I am stoked. Look at that. You got the 71 BRE Dotson 510s in blue and red. Look at that car culture two pack right here, man. This is sweet. Now I did find one and one and only at Target. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna open up one of these. This is freaking nice looking. I know Dotson Man got his hands on a couple of these and I think it's an awesome set right there. Now, I just can't wait to get my hands on the 962s. Um, I do need to find that for someone else as well. So hopefully I can find a couple sets. Um, and then of course the Volkswagen set as well. So hopefully I can finish that, but this is awesome right here. So Shane, Ty and Cade, thank you guys so much for that. So he sent some shorties. Let's go ahead and make some room. Uh, packaged up so nice and I feel bad because I told him uh, when I sent off his package, I had no resources of bubble wrap. Um, I had everything fit in the box before I even moved and it was a tight fit. So um, hopefully his stuff gets there soon, which it should be today. So here we go. We got some shorties. Beautiful castings I can see already. So here we go. Ooh, there we go. We got the 2019 Ford Raptor Ranger in this beautiful green. This is one of my other favorite colors that Hot Wheels has been doing lately. Um, this pearlescent green just looks so good. And of course, the shorty is always a good way to go. Look at that. Then we got the short card Acura NSX. And I sent this your way, but on the long card. So I definitely thank you for sending the shorty my way. That is freaking awesome. Nice. And then here we go, the 67 Coupe. Oh, this was a great recolor for the year. This looks so good. Thank you so much for sending the shorties. International cards are always on my radar. Um, but check this out, guys. He threw in a Ferrari F50. Look at this, collector number 377. It's in cherry condition. Look at that, and I think this is a variation I don't have because mine doesn't have the yellow Hot Wheels flame on the wing. I'll definitely have to double check, but you do have the chrome lace wheels all the way around. So nice. Gotta love Ferraris, guys. And then here we go. We have number two in the collection of the 65 Mustang out of the convertible series, um, which I just recently picked up, but only have one of them. So here we go, this makes number two absolutely love the color and then right here guys you have the 70 chevelle el camino um it's an el camino yes but it's also based off the same body as the chevelle um, so growing up it was the chevelle el camino so there you go nice red enamel black race stripe signature to the ss um, and i believe it was trevor samuda who commented or pointed out that it has the wrong fenders never noticed it because yeah the chevelles don't have squared off fenders um, they've always had rounded fenders. This casting is still super clean. Last, definitely not least, a truck that I remember having growing up. 
the custom 69 Chevy. Look at this. Beautiful red enamel. You got the PR5s all the way around in chrome. Definitely loved this variation of the 69 Chevy. Of course, we've seen it in the Super Treasure Hunt. Um, but I think this older tooling before the grill was separate from the bumper was probably one of my favorites. So this is a first edition. It's collector number 31. Look at that, guys. Awesome packages. We got some customs right here, guys, that are hands down. Um, awesome to have in my collection. Some loose castings that I'm stoked to have. But check this out, guys. What we got today, I cannot thank you guys enough. So, so Shane, David, Sean, all of you guys, thank you so much, especially to Jakeinator. Like I said, for sending these customs, I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, I will be sending out your guys' packages. Like I said, Shane, you should be getting yours today, which is Thursday. Sean, I'll be sending yours out in exchange for the Audi R8. Jakeinator, I will be getting your Porsche. It is sitting in my premium box, which is over here. And of course, David, I will reach out to you to let me know what you need and I will send it your way. So we got some awesome stuff here, guys. Got the red edition or the Target exclusive 2020 GT500. A bunch of shorties and extras that I am stoked to get in the collection. Of course, I can't wait to utilize these for some cars that I need to really protect. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know it's super long and kind of all over the place, but it is what it is. It's what we got right now. So as always, comment down below your thoughts on everything you saw today. The custom sent from Big Daddy Diecast um, to Jakeinator, everyone. Again, thank you guys so much. So that is all I got. Until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.